Hello, welcome to another video. Umut here. Today I'm going to continue the tags uh, decorations that I, I have before. And these tags, the backgrounds, I created with dynamically uh, acrylic paints and I created 12 of them. Uh, and uh, two by two, I'm just decorating them and uh, completing the videos. I'm going to put a link to the previous video and also to the video that I created the backgrounds for you down below at the description area or in the cards here. For this tag I'm going to use Elena Zinski Art uh, Digital Stamps. Uh, you know I love these uh, two cans. I, I used them before in a, a format that it was uncolored. And when I was looking at my files I saw that uh, Elena colored these like they come in a a digital pack that there are colored versions and uncolored versions and I saw that these colors perfectly went with my tag these two cans are amazing I love them so I'm going to put the link down below uh, for you to see uh, Elena's Etsy shop to be able to download them uh, and uh, also these uh, leaves are uh, a part of a flower stamp set, again digital stamp. So I'm going to link that down below as well. There are so many fl flowers in only one set, which is amazing. And uh, I'm using my uh, acrylic uh, marker uh, from Posca. This is acrylic marker, so it's going to definitely write uh, in an op opaque way uh, over acrylic paints. Uh, after I uh, glued my toucan, I just decided that I will make the three, li three uh, branches uh, in pink. So I'm just drawing it myself uh, randomly. And I'm going to use those leaves that I cut uh, over the branches as well. So it's like my toucan is uh, standing on a tree uh, within the clouds. Uh, when the when there is pink rain, I really uh, want to uh, be productive and do my part uh, in these days uh, to bring joy and a little bit color. Thanks so much for all your comments and messages, and to the people who ask how how we are, uh, and I'm really glad to hear uh, that you are safe and well. Just a bit bored at home. I think hard times uh, is. Uh, easier to go through when we get together so uh, I'm really glad I have this platform that uh, I can share with you at least something uh, I love and uh, we spend our time with art so after I uh, glued my leaves I'm just uh, going over uh, the branches with my pink marker again because I deleted some of them it was not completely dry and uh, I'm just taking a thin uh, black marker uh, to draw the lines around them because uh, all the other images have black lines and uh, I think it will have the same cartoonish look if I draw black lines uh, all around them. And uh, I'm just going to use the same marker to draw a thin line like a border all around my tag uh, to create a sketchy look which makes it cuter I think. And uh, I have this uh, ribbon set uh, in my big ribbon box uh, that I didn't, I don't use as often. So uh, I'm just taking the opportunity to uh, use these beautiful ones uh, uh, over this tag. I went with the sky uh, blue color, and it looks super cute. I'll just cut it a little bit, and uh, I will do a little bit shadowing uh, around my toucan. Uh, with a darker blue marker. This is Faber Castell pit brush marker which we can manipulate a little bit until it dries and when it dries it's uh, definitely permanent. And if you don't like them uh, you can always clean uh, the excess with your baby wipe. I will do a little bit shadowing just below the branches as well to make them more realistic and uh, complete the rest of uh, the shadows around the toucan. And uh, afterwards, uh, I'm going to do the highlights with my white gel pen. The gel pen I'm using is Sakura uh, gel pen, but because I had it in my stash, uh, I normally use Uniball uh, white Signo broad uh, tip. Uh, and uh, I think it's finished. Uh, I really like it. The colors are uh, amazing, and uh, it really gives me joy. 
so let's move on to the other tag uh, this uh, tag I just uh, created uh, picking up the excess colors uh, that I had on my uh, craft mat so it's a coincidental uh, pick but it looks uh, really nice however uh, there are parts that don't have colors so I'm just going to spray a couple of colors this is fuchsia this is olive green and uh, I'm going to pop a little bit pink, uh, light pink uh, here and there too to complete the background. Don't forget to clean your nozzles uh, with a baby wipe after using them uh, otherwise they will clog for sure. After it's dry I'm just uh, sticking this image which is again from Elena Zinski collection uh, the same digital stamp I used on a, an art journal before uh, and it comes in uncolored and colored versions too so I just took the one that matches my background uh, and uh, fussy cut it to use it here uh, now I'm going to stamp the sentiment uh, and I'm using one of my favorite uh, alphabet stamps from Inca Dinka Do it's called gemstone alphabet uh, this has like little polka dots on them so it becomes uh, a lot of fun Sorry for the sun, it comes and goes, uh, so I'm not faster than that uh, to close the drapes or not. Uh, I'm just uh, stamping coffee time and uh, because of these polka dots, I'm just uh, filling them with white uh, gel pen, which makes them a lot of fun. And I will uh, give some highlights uh, to the uh, time word, uh, as well as some dots as well. While I have my white gel pen, I will also give highlights to my coffee cups. The, I love these uh, coffee cups so much or tea cups, uh, doesn't matter. Uh, they are so versatile, uh, you can use them again and again to create many designs. And tea and coffee are universally loved. Um, and I have this uh, time stamp, clock stamp uh, from ages ago. I think I bought it when I first started crafting. So no chance I will remember uh, which brand it is, but there are loads of uh, clock stamps out there. Uh, and uh, I will just use my archival black ink here to stamp here and there, including the uh, cups, uh, to bring everything together and to create some background interest that goes with the sentiment. Uh, and I'm going to do some doodling and a little uh, sketchy border as well uh, around the tag. And I'm just uh, drawing some uh, doodles. Afterwards I'm going to fill uh, those circles that I draw now with a white gel pen. This is just to have some extra interest. Uh, it all depends on your imagination, what you want to do. Uh, so I'm sure uh, you will come up with other amazing ideas. And if you can't make uh, your uh, uh, white gel pen work just work it on your finger and it will start working again and uh, I think this uh, needs some white splashes so I took my white gesso and uh, watered it down to do some splashes with a thin brush so I don't have big blobs of uh, white uh, paint and I decided to make these white lines more prominent so that it's more visible and I just decided to do a second sketchy line with my uh, white gel pen uh, all around this black border uh, again to add some details. Final step will be uh, using a ribbon. Uh, I'm using these natural strings from Tim Holtz uh, again uh, that I had for ages and never used. Uh, I chose the black one, uh, cut a little bit and after uh, cutting the ribbon I decided to put uh, one uh, tiny jewel uh, sparkly thing uh, in the middle of it uh, this is from Kaiser Craft and I'm just uh, taking one of the uh, sparklets with difficulty <laughs> to take the glue off it and just place here uh, to give another nice interest basically and I call it done I hope you enjoyed it uh, I loved creating these two colorful uh, tags uh, with uh, my favorite uh, digital stamps from Elena Zinski Art. As I said, I will put the links down below uh, to her Etsy shop uh, for you to be able to buy the digital stamps, both for these uh, toucans and uh, the coffee cups. 
If you like my videos, please don't forget to subscribe, comment or like so that I know. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you're there uh, to see my upcoming projects or what I am up to and as well as uh, the pictures of my projects. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.